Hello everyone, in this video we'll learn how we can install Notepad++ on a newer Mac. Now if you get a brand new Mac Mini or MacBook or MacBook Air or Pro with the new Apple Silicon M series chip, uh, then this is the video for you. Now in the past I have made uh, other video for installing Notepad++ on any Mac, but this is especially, especially applicable for the Apple Silicon chip. So if I go to about this Mac, I have Mac mini with Apple M1 series, but this uh, video should also apply to M2, M3, and then there's M4 on the way as well. And so it's pretty easy to install Notepad++ on a Mac with the Apple Silicon. All you have to do is install a, a free uh, application called Porting Kit. And so let's, uh, let's try that. So basically go to Google and search for Porting Kit, uh, and let's go to download. And then based upon the Mac uh, version, I think just pick the latest. <clears throat> okay, and this should basically download uh, the installation file for 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 Notepad++. Now this is basically actually a Wine Bottler or Wine Bottle that uh, that if you guys are familiar with, uh, in the past Mac can run any Windows application using these Wine Bottles. Uh, and so this uses the same thing, but it makes the whole installation process much more easier. And so let's go ahead and open this. And so in, in Mac, uh, in order to install application, all you have to do is just drag this, uh, this application into the application folder. And so I already have one, so let's replace this. Okay. And so it should install that, and you can see it's right here. And so let's open that. And depending upon your uh, uh, your internet speed, it may take some time to download and so on. So let's open first time when you open any application that you just downloaded, it would confirm uh, before you open that for the first time. Okay, and let's close this. So again, it'll take just a little bit of time to open that. <coughs> okay, so now. Again, this is just for the first time, so it'll ask you to continue. Uh, and then some license agreement, you can read through that, agree. And then it does need some folder permission in order for it to basically download the, the, the EXE and then install application because these are all Windows-based application. So I usually enable the downloads folder to allow porting kit or this new app to access the download folder. Uh, you can also enable the desktop folder. Let's not do that for now. So it's say allow, continue. Uh, and then if you want to share the crash log, you can do that. Uh, and then the default path will be just the application. Okay. Um, and then if you want to install, actually this porting kit can install Windows uh, games also. So if you want that, you can do that. I, we are not interested in that. <coughs> So it'll go and basically open like a package manager kind of a, a window pretty soon. So let's wait. Again, it takes a little bit of time first time around. But then once you use it, then you don't, when you install Notepad Plus, you don't have to open porting kit. Okay. So let's go to all apps. Uh, and actually, let's search for Notepad Plus Plus. So usually it shows up right here. You can see it's right here. Uh, but if it doesn't show up, then just search for it. So let's click on Notepad++. And then here it allows you to install Notepad. Okay, you can take a look at other stuff. But let's go ahead and click install. Now, when you install Notepad++ for, for the first time, it may need some of the, some of the Windows-based uh, files and so on. So it may ask you, uh, I think Rosetta and some of the other stuff, it did ask. And so if it, it does, just just uh, read through quickly and then just allow it to, to have that. Uh, again, this is just a one-time thing. So now we are basically installing a Notepad++ application on Mac OS. Okay. And so let's wait it till it's ready. Again, uh, it's as you can see, if you notice, there was a wine skin or wine bottle that is creating basically like a container where it is going to install this Windows-based application. 
but once you install it it is pretty uh, similar to this the experience that you have on windows computer as well so it's pretty identical application okay so again this will take just a little bit of time <clears throat> okay um, as i said if you're uh, just installing for the first time you may get a few more pop-ups uh, to install some additional uh, basically backup uh, additional like uh, uh, files that, that it needs and those are pretty safe all right so let's wait a little bit before it it is done okay so what it did so far was just uh, preparing for it to basically install so click next and this if you have installed notepad plus plus on windows this is pretty familiar setup uh, you know wizard so agree just keep all the defaults and then just click install um, so let's allow that and then let's not run it I'll just click finish okay <clears throat> so let's get this finished and then we'll open notepad plus plus All right, so it says installation was successful. Click close. And then now you can see that it's uh, instead of install, it's a play. It means basically you can open Notepad++. So let's click play. And this should open Notepad++ on your Mac OS with the Apple Silicon M series chips. So now, by default, Notepad++ always have auto updater. If you don't want it to continuously bother you, then you can disable that. So I'm going to say no. And then I'll go to settings, preferences, go to miscellaneous, I think. And then right here it says enable Notepad++ auto updater. So uncheck that. And that will make sure that you don't keep getting those pop up every time you open Notepad++. But now, uh, you can use Notepad Plus just like uh, Windows. In fact, if you realize, you don't have to switch to any other keyboard shortcuts if you are used to it. It, it still works exactly like a uh, Windows, right? So let's close this. And then now, once you install Porting Kit, I think you don't even need to keep that open. So let's quit this. And then if I go to our launch pad, you can see it's right here. Notepad Plus Plus is actually uh, added as one of the applications so all you have to do is just launch that no need to install or no need to open that porting kit uh, application first right so it's right here and then now you can see all the stuff that is that you are used to so I hope you you learn something new I hope you were you can uh, do this on your on your new Mac and if you have a question let me know and if you like the content of this site or this uh, this channel then please subscribe to my channel all right, thank you. Bye.